boys, this is FFAN16, and yay, we're getting a fairy tale game for the PS4. It is coming out in 2020, and it's also coming to the Switch. Natsu is looking fine. Gajil, Levy, hopefully Levy, I didn't see Levy, I want Levy. Uh, Wendy, Urza, Grey, Juvia, they're all coming. Fairy tale, the guild, and everybody. It is looking amazing from the launch gameplay that we saw. If you want to go check out PlayStation Access, they sat down with one of the developers or producers who showed off a bit of gameplay. I will link, leave a link below to that. It This looks amazing. I love how they have the party combos and all your favorite moves and movesets come from the direct anime. The timeline that they chose is, I believe, one of the best timelines as you get to venture out into the world after the seven-year break of them being stuck on Tenral Island. We're going to go into a little bit of details of what this game is here in this video. It's kind of just like a yes kind of video to get the awareness out that this game is coming. It is coming out in 2020, no official release date at this time. It is a JRPG. It is going to be turned base but a bit of the turn base is going to look familiar to some persona 5 players i gotta admit that when i saw it i p5 just flashed in my brain um let's see we'll go down this is the game informer website i will leave a link in the description below uh fairy tale is a long-running manga and anime series if you guys are here you obviously must be fairy tale fans or interested in knowing what fairy tale is there's a good description good as this is like a 300 plus episode anime so they're gonna give you the gist you get over 10 playable characters oh my goodness the character roster is gonna be crazy you, I, if anything your favorite fairy tale character could be if not will be playable now mira is going to be your quest giver and i'm sure all the other ones will either join you or give you some sort of fetch quests or help along the way if they're not going to be the 10 that join your party wendy lucy gray and urza not to have been confirmed gajil and Juvia, if you go to the official website, have been confirmed and with more characters coming. There is an official website for this, guys. I will also leave that in the links below. Here's the reveal trailer. Uh, I do suggest go check it out. I won't be playing too much of that in here today because you've got to watch it in its entirety. The anime style of this looks a bit more cartoony, but hey, it's manga, it's anime, it's gorgeous, it's great. It's in a 3D style. I'm hoping they show here. Let's look at some of these pictures. Here is Wendy doing a finishing move. Sky Dragon Magic right there. I love this chick. She is an excellent healer. She does have healing abilities. Again, watch that video with PlayStation Access. You'll be able to see Wendy do some healing moves. We've got Urza with her re-equip. She could re-equip in the middle of battle, guys. Pick the best armor, fight with her. She is a mean and awesome tank. And then there's her fairy tale armor. Love it. And uh, they're just showing that off because who wanted, who doesn't want to show off Urza? She is the bomb. There's Grey with his ice make magic. Uh, he, he has his ice make hammer as one of his abilities. I Just more information on this would be great. I can't wait till we get more and more detail. I will be covering this on the channel. And you bet your bottom dollar there's going to be a live stream of this over on my Twitch and a Let's Play here on YouTube. Gray again, looking fine. Look at good old Lucy calling out Gemini, doing a mirror of herself. She could call out her celestial beings. You've got anyone from Scorpio, Leo. <laughs> Everybody's here. It's going to be lovely. Um, Cancer with his scissors. And oh my goodness. Um, I'm wondering what they're going to do with uh, Taurus as he's a bit of a womanizer i don't see this being for the young at heart this is definitely going to be for your hardcore anime fans and new people to the anime alike there's makarov he he's supposed to be like really big in his his he's like a giant magic but here he, it looks like he's using fairy fairy law i hope 
that'd be interesting if we had fairy law in this game as well and Natsu with his fire magic mm, there's a fire in my belly go Natsu I can't wait to get some of his dragon moves out and about he is looking Natsu ish um, I don't know how to say it. This boy's got a look. Anybody who's watched the anime knows what I'm talking about. And then we're back at the beginning. Um, really excited. PlayStation 4, Switch, and PC doesn't look like it's coming to the Xbox or Stadia at this time. But you never know. This has not got an official release date, only a release year. More possible outcomes can come for release of this. But uh, I personally am going to get it on my PS4, and if I really like it for on the go, I'm going to get it for my Switch. This is an RPG, guys. You're going to be collecting, questing, fetching, fighting on the map. You'll see the enemies in real time. You'll engage them. You'll go to a battle screen, and I'm going to find a couple pictures here. You're going to have your uh, menu up beside you, so give me a second. I'm going to find some pictures, and we'll keep going here. All right, guys, I'm over on the Dual Shocker website where we do have some more photos we can look at. This battle system, this input system, kind of reminds me of P5. Don't get me wrong, I love it. I think it'll be great. I'm just gonna try to move my head. You've got an extra menu here, escape next, and this is position change. I think this only comes into effect if there's more party members and a defense. If we go further down, we got more images. You've got your chapters, so it's gonna be a chapter-based game. Natsu, Mary Jane, you've got Urza, Lucy, Gray, Wendy, and oh my goodness, I know that chick's name. She likes to drink a lot of booze. Um, it's not coming to me. Memory's good, but short, but you guys will let me know in the comments below, I'm sure. And then this seems to be the only two on this toggle. Oh yes, you could collect items in the field, so people who like shinies, People who like shinies will have their collecting fetish really, really utilized here. Yay, more collectibles for me to be obsessive about. <laughs> um, oh, this here, again, these are all screenshots from that live play of the um, PlayStation Access. Please, I do suggest if you're any kind of excited for this, go check that out. This is not so he's going towards a quest. You get to tour around Magnolia. The whole Magnolia, from what I understood from this interview, it's been made into 3D. So everything from the anime, you're just gonna have a nostalgia trip, hardcore with this game. Here's your world map. I'm guessing with how big the world has to be, this really is the only way to traverse, is from section to section. This kind of reminds me of an old PS2 game, something like a mobile game, but as long as each section is fully kind of open linear, heck, if this is fast travel, this is good enough for me. It's going to be super exciting. I know there's uh, a lot of areas in the fairy tale universe that you can go and traverse. Hopefully they input them here. As you can see, you can move to each section. It looks like it has a little bubble on top of it to tell you if your current quest or current known fetch or side quest is waiting for you in that area. These are all, again, speculations as no further detail has fully come out of the game. I'm just going by the screenshots of what I see and what I've learned from watching that PlayStation Access uh, Let's Play. I love this. Oh my goodness, all my fairy tale homies. This is your fairy tale like combo meter. Once that fills out, if you hit it, all of your fairy tale characters will do one big massive attack, and it does seem like it fills quite quickly. You can do attacks. Each attack has a grid-based system of where the enemies sit. The enemies sit on a three by three grid, and depending on what best tactics are for you, you pick the move that will best take out the enemies on the grid system. So it is a lineup, lineup battle, but I don't mind old um, turn-based system as long as they got some good action moves and you just feel empowered and the enemies put up a fight. I don't think they move from their square wherever they're situated, that's where they stay, but they can attack any party member they wish. All right, um, other than that, you've just got some more screenshots. Here's a faraway screenshot of the party attacking a fiend. I don't know what the monsters are called in this 
kind of game and then your results screen goes round up like this and you want to get your guild's S rank back. Your guild's down, you've been away for seven years on Tenra Island, you come back, it's gone to crap. You have to, are now the worst ranked guild in the world. So you are going out and building up your rank to S rank and with it, each one of your party members get a ranking as well exciting exciting fairy tale stuff not too leveled up here there's levels there's there's star ranks um this isn't fully fledged out like the guy said so more details to come on how the battle system and the leveling system is going to work you could level up your magic stats as well which will be quite interesting from the items you find in the world there's lacrima there's a lot of stuff that if i, I suggest start watching the anime now if you haven't get used to the terminology of of the show it will definitely help you in the video game and for those who are like me are obsessed and really love fairy tale you're just your nostalgia nerves are just a tingling right now you can tell how excited I am by how fast I'm talking through this all right guys um if you want to check out the links below so you can see all these juicy screenshots and what have you not all on your own I suggest this looks like it's a friendship chain yeah Please, go, please go check out the links if you want to get hyper and excited for Fairy Tale coming out in 2020. I am going to keep a close eye on this beauty and I can't wait to add it to my game roster. Tell me what you guys think. Are they representing Fairy Tale the way that you want it to represent? Remember, this is still early game development. I don't think they finalized a lot of it yet this is just the kind of thing they put together to bring to the show i would like a demo if any chance anybody is watching this video from the producing game company of this please give us a demo i want it i want to be able to feel the game before i buy it please give us that and you'll be greatly appreciated okay guys leave me a comment how you feel about this like sub hit that notification bell so you know whenever i have live content coming to the channel and as always guys happy gaming and keep strong for fairy tale <laughs>